Ellen and Steven. Tell us what it's like to be at these events, especially Florida Supercon. Is this your first Florida Supercon? If it is, tell us about that. If not, just tell us about Florida Supercon and being here. Rios, this is actually our third convention altogether, but our first Florida Supercon, which has just been absolutely wonderful. It's been an amazing experience this year. Yeah, it's uh, first time for me, Florida Supercon. It's amazing doing a, a TV show. You're stuck in a studio all day. You don't get the feedback from the audience. So be able to meet the fans, be able to meet the, the people that, that love the show is is. Awesome. We always give each other crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's lovely to hear nice things. Because <laughs> we're so busy killing each other. What's it also like being in Miami? Have you guys ever been in Miami before? We hear there's an ocean somewhere nearby, but we're actually at a tether right now, so we're not allowed to see it. <laughs> That's our plan as soon as we're out of here. This is my first time in Miami, I love it. Like I only relocated to the States uh, earlier this year and it's my first time. I've been to Orlando before but I've heard stories about Miami and I absolutely love it. The beach, the water is like a bath water. It's, uh, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's also that we're used to the dry weather in Los Angeles. I came here with straight hair and look what happened. You cannot strain your hair for anything here. But maybe that's just the way it's supposed to be. And I was going to ask, what else, what do you guys like? You mentioned it, Stephen, about you get to interact with your fans because you're in a studio all day and all. To be able to do that and hear the nice things from all the people that come out and all, does it make what you do even better to be involved in something like this, it, whether it be from an ego standpoint or just a personal standpoint? Personal, it's, it's, it's both. It's an ego stroke and a personal stroke because you hear, particularly, I have a soft spot in my heart for the, for the military or Marines or what have you and they'll watch, they tell you that they're inspired by watching Spartacus over and over and over they're like, there's some really hard times that we go through for inspiration we watch you and it's just, it's so motivating to know that they're they're fighting for real they're fighting for peace and we get to inspire that it's, it's, it's an amazing experience very easy when you're doing a 16 hour doing a job, it becomes 16 hours a day, six, hours, six days a week. It's very easy to kind of lose sight of, of what's happening. You can see we all hate each other on the show. We didn't get along at all. It makes the best show when no one gets along. It really... <laughs> but, um, being able to meet everyone and see what it means to them, especially the soldiers or people that are having a hard time, people that it touched them in some way, it's amazing. You realize how special and yeah. Thank you both so much for your time. Thank you very much.